because islands are at the front line of uh, climate change challenges. They're lighthouses in the energy transition. So, Helen, what do islands share in their approach to the energy transition? Or are their approaches very different? Yeah, I think the only thing that they share is probably that they are islands and they have this geographical embeddedness. But their energy transition pathways will all look very different. According to my research, energy transition pathways have to actually be different because their local needs are different, the context is different, not just the climate but also regulations and people's perceptions and what they find attractive, what solutions do they find attractive and how they can get engaged. So I did my research with two case studies, the Orkney Islands and the Canary Islands. And using asking in investors and communities about um, how they see community microgrids as a solution for their energy transition gives an idea that it will look different. So in the Orkney Islands, which is a smaller sized island archipelago, they have the idea of creating a whole local energy system that takes everyone on board. But in the Canary Islands, it would be more small scale individualistic solutions with PV self-consumption and that maybe they increase with time more in a virtual power plant style. And yeah, that that increases and supports the decarbonization of the whole island. And then at the same time, probably all islands, they consider several solutions because it, they have the challenge that they are interconnected to the mainland or not. So they cannot uh, use energy from somewhere else. So they always have to consider several solutions adapted to their place. That's why um, energy transition pathways, I think they will always be different. Okay, so you say that actually the customer should be the one to decide what business model uh, fits with the island. But then how does a customer know which business model fits their needs? Yeah, I think that's probably one of the biggest issues right now in, in our system, that there is lack of transparency and uh, which... Support, yeah, which makes it that people don't trust the system. They don't trust the government, uh, the energy providers. But at the same time, it's kind of a balance because, for example, in 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 the Canary Islands, people complained a lot that they don't know um, how the price structures work, or that they don't like the current energy provider. But still, they would prefer to have services provided by these companies in, instead of um, kind of a startup because they know, okay, at least this company has the expertise. So that's um, uh, something that I found interesting. But generally, I think for whatever business model, we have to um, ask, okay, what does the community actually find attractive so in the Orkney Islands, people are very attracted, for example, by innovative technologies. They're happy to get engaged. But in the Canary Islands, they're, they're the opposite. They want mature technology, safe structures, rules, and so on. So what my interviewee suggested is, for example, a platform where they can see what business models are out there and uh, compare easily just like a platform like Amazon, for example, with reviews, even technology providers that would mount the PV self-consumption um, installation, they, there needs to be transparency and easiness for the people to put it because otherwise, like you say, they don't know what is actually good and who to trust. It always comes back to trust. Mm. Well, very interesting. And do you think that on the mainland where the scale is much bigger and communities maybe are more different than on islands, uh, do you think we can learn something from islands? Yes, I, I think we can. And I know um, there, are, um, there has been lots of research going on as well on, on energy transition on islands and the idea that, as you said, islands are lighthouses and we can learn from them. And it's probably n not true uh, 
that we can learn generally from islands because island communities have a higher sense of community or something like this? Because as my research uh, demonstrates, that is true in the case of the Orkney Islands because they have this culture. But the Canary Islands, which is a much bigger island archipelago, it's not the case. They, the culture there is different. But what we can learn is that there are extremes and most cases also in the mainland will be in between. So cultures and people are different, but we can learn that we have to consider this multitude of perceptions and ideas and priorities of people and that there are always... Um, Yeah, there will always be a more active part of a community that we can engage first and there will be people to follow. And that's something, I think, a message that definitely applies to the mainland as well. And, yeah, I guess for the grid operators it makes sense to, to look at island cases as well to see, okay, how do they handle the grid congestion and issues and how do they approach um, to limit the... Um, decreasing curtailment of renewable energies and how do they promote things because they are at the forefront of the challenges. So it's definitely good to learn from them but we have to keep in mind that every case is different but it's good to approach it as an opportunity of seeing these differences to learn for those in-between cases. Okay, well thank you for your insights. If you want more insights, be sure to join the Enlit community.